All right, I'm gonna edit this right quick, yo. Here we go. Let's do it. Tales are like opinions. Basically, everyone has them. Fish, birds, most reptiles, and even some of our closest relatives. So why are we missing out? Sometime around 20. All right. Well, first of all, first of all, first. Uh, somewhere over here, I have new tech times da da da, -da somewhere tech time da 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 Oh, look at this. This is not faded right anyway. Eh, not really. No, that's weird. See how it turns black right here? That's not cool. So this should actually be out here, like that. Okay, but anyway, we're going to replace this. Pop in the new one. The new one can go right down here. And it's oh, just a little bit longer, actually. So let's pull that in. And let's go ahead with our effects and our video effect, our favorites here, and do our cross dissolve. And actually, ooh, look at that big, big happening logo right there. So. Let's go ahead and see if we pull this out further. And that looks cooler. Look at it, it just begins, it becomes in the center. No, we don't want her talking, so we're going to cut that shorter to here. Actually, what we'll do is, what shall we do? Shall we do? Shall we do this? We'll cut this down to here. We'll grab this banana and slide it over here to about there-ish and then we'll just then we'll just here let's let's do it this way we'll just bring this down bring this up whoops not sure what I just did there just bring that down bring that up Close that gap with delete and then slap on a constant power. We missing out. Okay, that didn't work either, so that's because this needs to be deleted and a new one needs to be added. That should work. Oh, it's got fire! It's got fire! Oh, it's got the slogan. Look at that. Truth hurts. It's got fire in the background. Much cooler intro got a nice brighter logo than the other one did way cooler intro let's keep that one now what is all this stuff this is the tech times logo here okay well let's move on and see what we got sometime around 20 million years ago our primate ancestors lost their visible tails and left us with a little souvenir by adding this fact to our knowledge of that time, we are one step closer to understanding why that transition took place. During a debate with Discovery Institute's Dr. Stephen Meyer, theistic evolutionist Dr. Carl Gibberson showed a photo of a human infant with a monkey-like tail. He did this to drive home his point that humans share a common descendant from a tailed ancestor. Our ancestors did have tails. Well, I see a flicker there. See that little flicker? One minute she's here, next frame she's there. So that's got to go. That just looks weird. Most people probably won't see that, but I see things like that. Our ancestors did have tails. And now, to begin, I'm not sure that's the best clip to begin with. So, why are we? We already got her propagating that, you know, we're related to monkeys here. So, 
I think the first thing that should come in is somebody like Kent Hoven, like saying how stupid this whole thing is. But let's see what we have anyway. Dr. Stephen Saw that. Did have tails, and at some point. You had a tail too. Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. It's a vestigial organ. Each of us have a vestige of our tail inside of us. We call it the coccyx. And that sits at the base of our spine. When we fall on that, it really can hurt. The reason why it hurts is because it's not covered by lush tissue or muscles or whatever. So it's really kind of naked. So, ouch, thank you, and That is the last sacral vertebra of a... I don't really care for all this. I just wanted the ouch, thanks, and her monkey. So, so who's her name? Who's her name? So, ouch, thank you, and her monkey. That is the last sacral vertebra of a prefrontal leaf, and I'm going to... Try to match it up to the one on this chimpanzee. This little bone here is this part of a person. Oh, you hear all that, that buzzing, so I'm going to go to... Oh, well, where are we at? Go to... Um, how do we get to our... What do you call it? We got our effects controls. How do we get to our son of the motherless? Our workspace. Go to da, 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 da. where's the uh, the audio essential audio. There we go essential sound. Okay, so let's go to dialogue and put on repair, reduce noise. Smaller bodied animal. I still hear a high piss, high high pitch. I just said high piss. Okay, uh, it's still there. But you got that. And that High pitch sound. Anatomy there. That ridge. Well, it's there. So, maybe an EQ? And if we go on this EQ, where is it here? Um, graphic EQ 10 band. Custom setup. All right, let's listen to this. It's tapered in here. Is well, that took away some of it right there. This part. Some of it. Of a but it kills the sound, so. Okay, forget that. How do we reset? Let me see where that sound is. It's a smaller body animal than a chimpanzee, but you got that anatomy there. That ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. It's tapered so much that it indicates that what follows would have no tail. If it was part of a tailed primate, it wouldn't be tapered. So taper, no tail. Right. This little bone here is this part of a prefrontal. Oh, I see. So it's, it's a, a smaller tail. bodied animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there. That ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. It's tapered so much that it indicates that what follows would have no tail. If it was part of a tailed primate, it wouldn't be tapered. So taper, no tail. Right. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just how the last few bones are partially fused together. That's your tailbone. It's all that's left of our tail. And yes, it's sad and pathetic, and you can't wag it. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human vertebral column has no... Okay, that's where we need to enter in. And left us to our now. Okay, all this, I'm not sure about all that. That's Dr. Carl Giberson. Each of us has a coccyx. He did this to drive home his point that humans share a common descendant from a tailed ancestor. Our ancestors did have tails, and at some point, you had a tail too. Coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. It's a vestigial organ. Okay, that. This should probably go. Uh oh, frozen up. 
Alright, first of all, this stuff needs to get bigger, so I need to go to my workspace and do editing and make this bigger. I want to be able to see things here. Okay, so let's take her first. Let's move her, move all this over here. Now let's take her first because she's yep in the nonsense. Then we can have Kent Hoven come right after. Our ancestors did have tails, and at some point you had a tail. This I'm gonna delete all this for now because I don't want to edit with all this here. I'm just gonna move it over here for now. Oh, that's not the right part. Where's Hovind? Saying that is stupid. Stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vested. Right there. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. That is. It's coming right here where he's speaking. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. Okay, so how about? Tails are like opinions. Basically, everyone has them. Fish, birds, most reptiles, and even some of our closest relatives. So why are we missing out? Our ancestors did have tails, and at some point. You had a tail too! Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. Okay. It's a vestigial organ. Okay. So this is nothing yet. Sometime around 20... During a debate with Discovery Institute's Dr. Stephen Meyer, theistic evolutionist Dr. Carl Gimerson showed a photo of a human infant with a monkey-like tail. He did this to drive home his point that humans share a common descendant from a tailed ancestor. That is the last sacred... Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestor... Alright, so we'll take this and we'll paste it here and then we'll take Kent Hovind again and copy him and paste him whoops I just do copy him and paste him here again so we got but again we don't really need it it's a vestigial organ that is stupid folks the tailbone is not vestigial during a debate with Discovery Institute's Dr. Stephen Meyer theistic evolutionist Dr. Carl Gimerson showed a photo of a human infant with a monkey-like tail he did this to drive home his point that, that is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul and I'm gonna try to map primate ancestors had one that being said you can still see a reminder of a time. Okay, so we'll cut to her because actually we'll move this over. Whoa, what happened there? We'll move, we'll delete this. We'll move, I don't need to duplicate this. We'll move this over so she continues. That being said, Oh wait, whoops, wrong spot. This can be moved over. This can go here. To the tail, but again, we don't really need it. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just look at a human spine. You can see how the last few bones are partially fused together. That's your tailbone. It's all that's left of our tail. And yes, it's sad and pathetic, and you can't whack it. Hmm. You can't whack it. All right, so maybe we can grab Hovind again and have him repeat. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. Okay, so next, we can go to... It's I'm not caring for much of this footage. Tailbone. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human vertebral column has no present function. The coccyx, that's the this muscle we're not visible. Uh, things would tend to herniate or, or pass. Those muscles. 
pay attached to the tail. If your pet's a vestigial, for example, more, want to grab a tail with me. And why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just another thing that rarely Tarzan will wear around the forest anymore, which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. And we don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because, as a species, we don't rarely Tarzan our way around the forest anymore. Okay, so let's see what she's saying. And, unlike some other primates, we don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because, as a species... Alright, so we'll put this here. Whack it. That, that is stupid, stupid folks. folks. The, the tailbone, tailbone is not vestigial. And unlike some other primates, we don't need a This clip, what we can do is throw on like a black and white. So, right? So we can tell that this is something different. And we'll copy this fast color, control C, and slap it on this one as well. Control V. And so now. Vestigial organs. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, you can still. These can have fades. Vestigial organs. And they can be short fades, so. Vestigial organs. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, that is these can have fades as well control t i did that for transition that, that is stupid folks, folks. the tailbone is not vestigial and unlike some other primates we don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because as a species we don't rarely tarzan our way around the forest anymore let me see what she says in this clip here prior to that first we don't really need them. In many quadrupedal or four-legged creatures, like a cat, for example, a tail helps with balance. Fish and marine mammals, on the other hand, or on the other fin, I guess, use their tails for steering or locomotion. Some lizards and primates use their prehensile tails to grip things, while crocodiles store fat in their tails, kind of similar to the way camels store fat reserves in their humps. But let's look at humans. We're by There we go. We're this is what I want. Bipedal meaning we walk on two. We're bipedal meaning we walk on two legs. So our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. And unlike some other. There we go. That's the part that I needed. Okay, that's the part I wanted. So this part actually goes with over here. Uh, this area, but that muscular floor important. And that muscular floor, right where my hand is there now, that muscular floor holds the organs that reside in this lower part uh, of the abdomen and pelvis. Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor, because we. Where's the other section? There's one other section of this guy talking. Here we go. Or, or pass uh, through uh, this floor. You can't overestimate the important. There we go. If this muscle were not there, then because it is not a tail, and it is certainly not without function. That's there we go. So, man, man. In fact, if I were to rank the bones of the body and how important they are by how many different muscles attach from how many different directions, I would rank the tailbone up near the top. If you've ever fallen on your tailbone, there we go. Toxics, you know it hurts. Just about any position you're in, it hurts. That's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. Right there. That's what we need. So we'll take all this. And for now, we'll just stick it over here, and then we want that one clip where it talked there, the girl falling. See, he's talking about falling. She, he's falling. In fact, if, if I, I were to rank not without, without function, function, and just about any real estate, 
the whole rim of your pelvis, your hip bones, have muscles that converge on that little point of bone, which real estate. Okay, right there, we'll insert that. Little piece of, that's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. So, ouch, thank you, and your monkey. The whole rim of your pelvis. <laughs> okay. The whole rim of your, your pelvis. That's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. So, ouch. Hurts. That's because of all these muscles. <laughs> Position your rim, it hurts. That's because of all these. That's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. So, ouch. Thank you, Inner Monkey. Oh, see this? Can go here. That's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. So, ouch. Thank you, Inner Monkey. The whole rip. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Real estate. So, ouch. Thank you, Inner Monkey. See, I put the video on top. That's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. So, ouch. Thank you, Inner Monkey. The whole. This can come up. Real estate. So, ouch. Not too much. Only real estate. So, ouch, thank you, Inner Monkey. The whole rim of your pelvis, your hip bones, have muscles that converge. The center of gravity passes vertically. The bottom the bowl above it would be. Okay, where's the rest of it? Here? There we go. All right. The bone. These muscle muscles mm, form excuse me. what's called the pelvic diaphragm. It's a muscular bowl deep down in our, our pelvis and setting above it would be the bladder, the uterus, and uh, other parts of the bowel. If this muscle were not there, then because we are standing up, parts of the bowel. Okay, so we want to stick her right here. Uh, other parts of the bowel. We're bipedal, meaning we walk on two legs, so our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. If this muscle were not there, then because we are standing upright, uh, things would tend to herniate or, or pass uh, through uh, this floor. You can't overestimate the importance of this critical anchoring point uh, for six really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. The final example that's been given for proof of human evolution, infants up to about the age of six months uh, have a, a grasp reflex diaphragm. Okay, we can end that there. Anything upright. Uh, things would tend. We already got that. All right, so all this, Control X, can come back in. Let's say about. We missed. We don't. You can still see, and you can't wag it. Maybe right here. Put that in. We could take out Hovind again. Stick this girl back. Two legs. So our and yes, it's sad and pathetic, and you can't wag it. It is not a tail, and it is certainly not without function. It's all that's left of our tail. Right there. We'll cut that. Put it over there for now. So let's see what we got. Anchoring point. Uh, what I want to do is go to Edit, Preferences, General, uh, Transitions in here anywhere, Appearance, Audio, General, Capture, Control, Device, Graphics, Labels, Appearance. Um, where are my default transitions? 
apparently not here. Not in project settings, project manager. I'm not sure where I set my default transitions in here. But I don't want to stop video options. Audio options. Window, I don't know. All right, forget it. Oh, we got it. And unlike some other primates, we don't need a tail to help fix. Really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. Important pelvic diaphragm. And unlike some muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. And unlike some And unlike some other primates, we don't. It's just another thing that takes. Okay, so here is where we can add the monkey. There we go. Take our monkey over here. Uh, this is getting messy now, so let's move this all over. Where's our monkey? That can go, because it's, it's cut. All this stuff, we can close in gaps here. Um, there's our monkey. So we'll stick it. We'll stick our monkey. Whoops. Where did I put my monkey? So I was getting a phone call and I got distracted. This is all a. The cops, eh? That can all go away. All these cuts can just go away. Where did I put my monkey clip? Over here. Okay, there we go. Let's pull all this stuff closer. The monkey clip can go here. We don't. Rarely Tarzan are way around the forest anymore. Which is a little unfortunate. Whoops. Just pressed the wrong button. Forest anymore. Which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. And why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just another thing that takes energy from the rest of the body. <laughs> fortunate if you ask me. And why... We could take off the audio on that. Don't rarely Tarzan are way around the forest anymore. Which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. And why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just another thing that takes energy from the rest of the body. So, where's Hovind? What's oh, this? Half what we didn't evolve from animals? And some half what we didn't evolve from animals? Get out of there. You can tell one is vestigial. You can tell one is not vestigial. Call it out! See, the tailbone is not vestigial. Tiny little muscles that attach to the tailbone, without which you cannot perform some valuable functions. Appendix is part of your immune intestinal time bomb. They tell the kids, we've got vestigial structures. Now, a vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. They'll say, boys and girls, you have an appendix that you don't need anymore. That's a vestigial. Well, now it's just kind of chilling. Some primates have appendices, and you don't need it. Wouldn't that be a nice man be able to grab that door? Right there. I went, I went to school. school. Man, Man used, used to have a tail, tail but he lost it because he didn't need it. That's what I need. Whoops, I just undid something. I'm going to redo that. I'm going to grab this clip and move it over to where here. Uh, for six really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. And unlike. All right, so let's put it here. Diaphragm. I was taught when I went to school. Whoops. Whoops. Take that out. This doesn't work because it goes to another clip. So this can come out a little bit. I was taught when I went to school. Actually, this can come all the way over here. Diaphragm. I was taught when I went to school. I was taught when I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it because he didn't need it. I thought, didn't need it. Right there.
Oh, what happened to the audio? We lost her audio. I gotta undo all this now. Like some other primates, we don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because... Okay, so she says that in the beginning. Tailbone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. Right there. I was taught when I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it because he didn't need it. I thought, didn't need it? Have you ever thought how handy a tail would be? Have you ever come to the door with two sacks of groceries? Need it. Alright, right here. Sure, Mom. So we're going to put Hovind in somewhere here. Each of us has a coccyx or tail. We don't really need it. It's a vestigial organ. We don't really need it. Right there. We don't really need it. I was taught when I, I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it because he didn't need it. I thought, didn't need it. Hold on, that's not right. Bone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. Our ancestors did have tails, and at some point, you had a tail too. Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. I thought, didn't need it. I was taught when I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it. She says, again, we didn't need it. So that means that at some point she said it prior to that. Tensile tails to grip. There are two answers. First, we don't really need them. In many quadrupedal or four legged. That. Me, David Hasselhoff, have tail. Specialized limbs are so useful. Why don't you to today's question? If you leads us to today's question. There we go. Flies, for instance, while a bird uses its tail to steer during flight, which leads us to today's question. Okay. Other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't. So she already said it. Missing out. So we need to start her off here saying this. If these specialized limbs are so useful, why don't humans have them? Why don't people, you, me, David Hasselhoff, have tails? Well, there are two answers. First, we don't really need them. Okay, so right there. Whoops. Undo that. Paste this. Oh no, what did I just do? Take this, cut it, paste it right here. We don't really need them. I was taught when I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it because he didn't need it. Right there. Didn't need it. Okay. In many quadrupedal or four legged, our ancestors did have tails, and at some point, you had a tail too. Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone made of fused vertebrae. Need it. Our ancestors. Whoops. You had a tail too. Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone. This coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Uh, where's Hoven here? You stand Copy. Paste. It's a vestigial organ. That is Okay. Put this here. We need it. I was taught when I went to school. Man, you... We already got that part. Right there. Oops. Let's just move this over so we have space. I need it. I thought I didn't need it. Have you ever thought how handy a tail would be? I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste, paste, paste. And then just delete, delete, delete. 
That way I can drag this out. Have you ever come to the door with two sacks of groceries? Turn right around and get in there. Repeat it. Man, you could drive the car and turn the radio knob and turn, hold the coke at the same time. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, you can... See how that works? All right, so we're moving along. You can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just look at a human spine. You can see how the last few bones are partially fused together. That's your tailbone. It's all that's left of our tail. It is not a tail, and it is certainly not without function. In fact, what's this part? Have you ever come? Man, you can drive time. All right, so we used that part already. Don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because, as a species, we don't regularly tarzan our way around the forest anymore, which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. And why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just another thing that takes energy. <laughs> All right, so this can actually be put. I'm getting groceries. <laughs> Let's paste that right there. Oh, what just happened? I don't even know what just happened. Let's paste that. What in the world? I don't know why that happened. And unlike. Uh oh. Gotta get rid of that clip. And unlike some other primates, we don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because, as a species, we don't regularly tarzan our way around the forest anymore, which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. And, and unlike some other primates, what about this here? We don't need a tail to help us hold. Well, grab all these. Hold on to things while we swing through the trees because, as a species, we don't regularly tarzan our way around the forest anymore, which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. And why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just an. Have you ever come to the door with two sacks of groceries? Lost it because we didn't need it. This right here can cut and go Why have a tail? right here. Okay. And have you ever come? Excuse me. Let's pull this over here. Around the forest anymore, which is a little unfortunate if you ask me. Have you ever come to the door with two sacks of groceries? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice man to be able to grab that door and walk right around and get in Because <laughs> we didn't need it. Why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just another thing that takes energy from the rest of the body. Man, you can drive the car and turn the radio knob and hold the coke at the same time. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said... Okay, we can take off this color then because now all the other clips have color, so forget that idea. It's not vestigial. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our... Take off her saying that being said. said. Right here. Not vestigial. You can still see a. You can still. Right here. Pull this out. This one. This one says. What does this say here? The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small. Not vestigial. Okay, let's pull this to here. Digital. Whoops, undo that. Digital. The tailbone is not vestigial. Okay, we can pull this to about here. Close that in. And then pull her audio over here. 
ancient prime ancient primate ancestors had one. Oh boy. Pull this out more. Bone well, is not vestigial. When our ancient primate Uh oh. Can still see a said. Right, so maybe we'll keep that being said. That being said, you All right, hold on. Vestigial. Oh, we can dive. On two legs, so our center of gravity counterbalances on two legs, so our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. If, if this muscle were not there, Take off that frame. Heads. If, if this muscle, if, if we can cut to here after he says eh, eh. Cut him down. Cut down his stutter. It's the weight of our heads. If, if this muscle were not there, weight of our heads. If this muscle were not there, then because we are standing upright, uh, things would tend to herniate or, or pass uh, through. Stephen Meyer, theistic evolutionist. The tailbone is not vestigial. Institute's Dr. Stephen Meyer, theistic evolutionist. What is this? This is the creation of Lord's medicine. Not long ago, how far they will go to defend them. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again how... Ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again how far they will go to defend evolution. During a debate with Discovery Institute's Dr. Stephen Meyer, theistic evolutionist Dr. Carl Giberson showed a photo of a human infant with a monkey-like tail. He did this to drive home his point that humans share a common descendant from a tailed ancestor. The only thing Dr. Giberson failed to mention was that he found the photo at the website Cracked.com, an online humor website inspired by Mad Magazine. Though he later apologized, he insisted that his point was still valid. Christians should never even think of being deceptive when sharing the truth of biblical creation. Yes, we may make a mistake, but when we do, a sincere apology might make all the difference in an unbeliever's life. For Creation Moments Minute, I'm Darren Marlowe. Is this thing, is this, what is up with this scaling? Why is this all out of whack? Right, I'm going to center this. I don't know why that was all out of whack like that. That was weird. So I'm just going to make this 150. Apologize. Yes, we may make a mistake, but when we did it by Mad Magazine, though he later apologized, he insisted that his point was still valid. Christian insisted that his point was still valid. Right there. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again. So we'll take this. Tailbone is not vestigial. Lost their visible tail. You can still see our said. Try to see if this goes here. Tailbone is not vestigial. Not. This one. Not long. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed one. So right there is where we can actually add the tech times cut, which is I don't even know. Media browser library. Where's my stuff? I'm just not used to this media browser. Where are my files? Libraries. Go to effects, go to editing. It's under effects, maybe. Alright, so I'm going to pull in my tech times new logo cut. And then I'll stick it right here. Cut it. And paste it. Vestigial. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again how far they.
Galaxy, though he later apologized, he insisted that his point was still valid. That being said, you can still see a remind. Put another one there. His point was still valid. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just look at a human spine. You can see how it's all that's left of our tail. It is not a tail. And it is certainly not without function. In fact, if I were to rank the bones of the body and how important they are by how many different muscles attach from how many different directions, I would rank the tailbone up near the top. If you've ever fallen on your tailbone or your coccyx, you know it hurts. Just about any position you're in, it hurts. That's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. So, ouch. Thank you, very much. The whole rim of your pelvis, your hip bones, have muscles and, ver and uh, other parts of the bowel. We're bipedal. Would be the bladder, the uterus, and uh, the uterus. Let's see what else we got. Lost their visible tails and left us. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors lost their visible tails and left us with a little souvenir. By adding this fact to our knowledge of that time, we are one step close. There we go. That clip needs to go here. Uh, he insisted that his point was still valid. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors yeah. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human vertebral column has no present function. It is stupid, folks. The tail. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human vertebral column has no present function, and is thought to be the remainder of bones that once occupied the long tail of a tree-living ancestor. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. All right, so this needs to go somewhere over here. To give us some failed dimension, folks, the tailbone is not vestigial. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist he insisted that his point. Let's paste this here. We'll take this and cut it. Paste it here. He insisted that his point is still valid. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human vertebral column has no present function and is thought to be the remainder of bones that once occupied the long tail of a tree-living ancestor. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors lost their visible tails and left us with a little souvenir. By adding this fact to our knowledge of that time, we are one step closer to understanding why that transition took place. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just so let's see what Hoven says right here. If we copy and we paste and delete, let's see what else he says. I was taught when I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it because he didn't need it. I thought I didn't need it. We already got all that. It's occupied the long tail. The tail ball present. So here we can put this one. That is stupid, folks. The tail ball. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors lost their visible tail position to place. That being said, you can still see a reminder. By adding this fact to our knowledge of that time, we are once. All right, let's paste this again. To place. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just look at a human's... Killing. Some primates have appendices and use them to digest tusks. Uh, this... At one point, pine bar. Need anymore. They'll say, boys and girls, you have an appendix that you don't need anymore. It's a vestigial structure. 
You can live without both your legs up to feed them. Look down at your body. Some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. See, the tailbone is not vestigial. One guy told me, he said, up at Berkeley, he said, I think the tailbone is vestigial. I said, well, I taught biology and anatomy. I happen to know there are nine little muscles that attach to the tailbone, without which you cannot perform some valuable functions. I won't tell you what they are, but trust me, you need those muscles. Get your greatest anatomy. Now, if you believe the tailbone is vestigial, then I will pay to have yours removed. Okay? Bend over. That should be the ending, I think. Kind of puts a funny spin on it. It's sad and pathetic, and you can't whack it. There we go. Okay. Oh, Timothy. This can go at the end. So we're almost there. Just got this stuff in the middle. Figure out this stuff in the middle here. Okay. Not far. Not far from home run. Tapered. From home base. Tapered. So taper. Home free. Right. The appendix was useful at one point, for example, but now it's just kind of chilling. So where's the part that he says, I'm about to call it out? Right here? No. Evolution proves you don't thing. There it is. We didn't evolve from animals. Without a doubt. All right. So let's put this here. Whoops. Let's see if this one goes here. Then somehow we didn't evolve from animals. Get that out of town. Called lanugo, or a fine growth of hair that can develop on a fetus, and it's sometimes it's present at birth. So we have tails, and we're covered in fur at birth, and somehow we didn't evolve from animals. Get that out of town. We, we have, have a whole other host of vestigial items. Goosebumps, tonsils, wisdom teeth, and other things left over from when we had fur. We have more primitive immune systems, and we use cellulose-based diets. My favorite, though, our third eyelid. We have a vestigial third eyelid, just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now we put that baby in the corner. What is he saying? Genetically speaking. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish we had in draw? There are a bunch of lists online if none of these tickle your fancy, or just, you know, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching D News, everyone, and keep your DNA clean, okay? Okay? Hmm. So we have tails, and we're covered in. You can't whack it. The tailbone is not vestigial. There we go, and where's our peeing monkey? Where's our peeing monkey? There it is. Let's copy our peeing monkey and slap it on this dude. For a bird, and somehow we didn't evolve from man. What is that? Put the wrong thing? No, I didn't paste it. Did I paste or put the wrong thing? All right. I'm copying the wrong stuff. So where's my monkey? I need my peeing monkey. Where's my peeing monkey? Where did he go? Right here. Copy my peeing monkey. And I want to paste my peeing monkey. Wisdom. Right. right there. Somehow we didn't evolve from animals. Get that down. There we go. And we'll cut him off here. Right. Actually, we'll leave him here. We have a whole. Get that down. We have a whole other host of vestigial. Okay. What do we got here? It's sad and pathetic, and you can't whack it. Okay. So now we don't need over the generations. All right. So this is where we have to take. Appendix was useful at one point. No, we have the appendix here. This. I saw so. Doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it. Okay. This whole thing needs to go in the beginning. 
right? When he's talking about vestigial structures. If these specialized limbs are so useful, why don't humans have them? Why don't people? Why are we missing out? Tails are like a. Look down at your body. Some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. Tails are like opinions. Basically, everyone has them. Fish, birds, most reptiles, and even some of our closest relatives. So, why are we missing out? If these specialized limbs are so useful, why don't humans have them? Why don't people, you, me, David Hasselhoff, have tails? Well, there are two answers. First, we don't really need them. I was taught when I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it because he didn't need it. Our ancestors did have tails, and at some point, you had a tail too. Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. I saw I didn't need it. Have you ever thought how handy a tail would be? We don't need a tail to help us hold onto things while we swing through the trees because, as a species, we don't rarely tarzan our way around the forest anymore. Which is a little unfortunate, if you ask me. Have you ever come to the door with two sacks of groceries? Wouldn't it be a nice man be able to grab that door and walk right around and get in? lost it because we didn't need it. Why have a tail if you don't use it? It's just another thing that takes energy from the rest of the body. Man, you can drive the car and tune the radio knob and hold the coke at the same time. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again how far they will go to defend evolution. During a debate with Discovery Institute's Dr. Stephen Meyer, theistic evolutionist Dr. Carl Giberson showed a photo of a human infant with a monkey-like tail. He did this to drive home his point that humans share a common descendant from a tailed ancestor. The only thing Dr. Giberson failed to mention was that he found the photo at the website Cracked.com. Huh, an online humor website inspired by Mad Magazine. Though he later apologized, he insisted that his point was still valid. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human vertebral column has no present function and is thought to be the remainder of bones that once occupied the long tail of a tree living ancestor. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors lost their visible tails and left us with a little souvenir. By adding this fact to our knowledge of that time, we are one step closer to understanding why that transition took place. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said, you can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just look at a human spine. You can see how the- So maybe this one right here can go. Ah, oh, come on. I delete everything. Sister. Sometime around 20 million years ago. Of a tree living ancestor. Sometime around 20 million. Put this back. That is stupid, folks. That is stupid. Let's put this and just have him say that is stupid. How about that? And we can put the color back on here. That is stupid. Sometime around 20 million. That is stupid. Right here. Ah. Cross it. It is stupid. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate place. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being stupid. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not. Put that there. Take off the color again. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said. Why that transition took place. The tailbone is not vestigial. That being said. You can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. That's your tailbone. It's all that's left of our tail. It is not a tail, and it is certainly not without function. 
In fact, if I were to rank, you can't overestimate the importance of this critical anchoring point uh, for six really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. That is to the pelvic diaphragm. That is the Oops. The muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. That is muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. That is the pelvic diaphragm. That is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul. And I'm gonna try to match it up to the one on this chimpanzee. This little bone here is this part of a proconsul. Oh, so it's it's a smaller yeah. bodied animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. It's tapered so much that it indicates that what follows would have no tail. If it was part of a tailed primate, it wouldn't be tapered. So taper, no tail. Right, right. right. exactly. Yeah. Proconsul answers an important question. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors lost their visible tails and left us with a little souvenir. By adding this fact to our knowledge of that time, we are one step closer to understanding why that transition took place. Alright, where do we have that previously? Here. Why that transition took place. By adding this fact to our details and left us with a little souvenir. But sometime around 20 million years ago, our tried the so tapered. So taper, no tail. And around us with a little souvenir. By adding this, we are one step closer to understanding why that transition took place. Okay, so. That ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. It's so if it was part of a tailed primate, it wouldn't be tapered. So taper, no tail. Right. It's just kind of chilling. It's just part of your immune system. You can make verges and tatches of the means a cuckoo's beak. It looks there now. That bodied animal. All right, this stuff can come over here. Uh, I'm move everything over. This stuff can come over here. This thing. Can go. Primate ancestor. That is stupid. Sometime around 20 million years ago, our primate ancestors. Well, excuse me, you do. Chimpanzee, but ridge, that it indicates that what follows would have no tail. This part, sacral vertebra of a proconsul, and I'm going to try to. I'm going to delete this here. Anchoring point, uh, forged here. Show a photo of a human. Ancestors lost their visible tails and left us right. with a little. This. This is weird because it's not linked up. So, copy, and I'm just going to paste, 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 and I'm just going to delete all this. And I want to see what comes before. And a tiny bone from the base of the spine reveals a lot about where its spinal cord ends. The shape is a good indication that Proconsul is one of the first ape species without a tail. That is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul. And I'm going to try to match it up to the one on this chimpanzee. This little bone here is this part of a proconsul. Oh, I see. So it's, it's a smaller bodied animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. It's tapered so much ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. That's all we need right there. The good indication that ancient primates. God of this creature. Oh, well, here we go. About 18 to 20 specimen of proconsul. Here we go. 
sister. That, that is stupid. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about... Stupid. What's that? That, that is stupid. stupid. Um, this needs to be here, 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 here. That, that is stupid. It's an early. It is stupid. It's an early. That is stupid. It's an early fossil ape. It lived. That, that is stupid. stupid. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. And this is just one of the many partial skeletons that we've got of this creature. By finding many similar proconsul fossils, scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. And it um, actually, let me take this. By find we've got of this creature. I'm gonna put him here. There we go. That's an early fossil. Okay. Sister. That's an early. Mm. No. It's an early fossil ape. It's an early fossil ape that we've got of this creature. That is stupid. By finding many similar proconsul fossils, scientists. This creature. That is stupid. Scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. Creature. That, that is stupid. stupid. Scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. And a tiny bone from the base. Primates. And a tiny bone from. Relatives that we've got of this. I think I want my peeing monkey back. Where's my peeing monkey? Here he is. Let's take my peeing monkey back. He's going to be a reoccurring theme. You later apologized. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. <laughs> Stir. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. And this is just one of the many partial skeletons that we've got of this creature. That is stupid. But scientists are able to complete. <laughs> and a tiny bone from the, these ancient primates. Okay, right here is where I need to take this. Uh, I'm going to take this and put it here. Scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18... It's an early fossil ape. Primates. It's an early fossil ape. Scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. Scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. And this is just one of the many partial skeletons that we've got of this. And a tiny... Any partial skeleton. 
scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. Oh boy. That is stupid. But scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. And this is just one of the many partial skeletons that we've got of this creature. Any bone from the base of this... Oh, let's drag out the music. To complete a picture of these ancient primates. Uh, actually, I'm gonna re reset all this. I'm gonna undo everything I just did. I don't like what I just did. What am I doing? Where am I? Back to the monkey peeing. Give me my monkey pee. It's an early fossil. This early fossil. Here we go. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. And this is just one of the many partial skeletons that we've got of this creature. That is stupid. But scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. And a tiny bone from the base of the spine reveals a lot about where its spinal cord ends. That is stupid. But scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. And a tiny bone from the base of the spine reveals a lot about where its spinal cord ends. The shape is a good indication that Proconsul is one of the first ape species without a tail. That is the last sacral vertebra of a Proconsul. Last. Oh boy. Tiny bone from the base of the. And a tiny bone from the base of the spine reveals a lot about where its spinal cord ends. Right there, can cut here. I don't think my monkey working works there yet. We're able to complete a picture. This right here can come over here. What is this? That, that is stupid. But scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. And a tiny bone from the base of the spine reveals a lot about where its spinal cord ends. That is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul. And I'm gonna where it ends. That is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul. And I'm gonna try to match it up to the one on this chimpanzee. This little bone here is this part of a proconsul. Oh, I see. It's a smaller bodied animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. It's tapered. I tried to match it up to the one on this chimpanzee. This little bone here is this part of a proconsul. It's a smaller body animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. It's tapered so much that it indicates that what follows would have no tail. <laughs> so stupid. To the one on this chimpanzee. This little bone here is all right, so what I'm going to do is take this oh, and just shrink it down. And we'll just place it in the corner here like this. This part of a proconsul. Oh, I see. So it's, it's a smaller bodied animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that we're looking at. The last sequel for 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 the last sequ
for dance. That is the last. Final for dance. That is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to try to match it up to the one on the chimpanzee. This little bone here. Vertebra. It's tapered. When our ancient priming is, we'll see a remote. Vestigial. The tailbone is not. You can see how the last is not vestigial. That being said, you can still see a plastic vertebra. It's tapered. Plastic vertebra. Right here. You can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient priming ancestors had one. Just look at a human spine. You you can still see a reminder. You've got that anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last. That anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that. Right here. We don't want that shot. We just want the monkey pee, and we can put the monkey pee. We can reset it, and we can blast them out full screen. You can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient priming ancestors had one. Just look at a human spot. Just look at it. Just look at a human spine. You can see. There we go. See how the last few bones are partially fused together. That's your tailbone. Tailbone is not best. It's final for dance. That is the last sacral this creature. That is stupid. But scientists are able to. It's all that's left of our tail. It is not a tail. It is not a tail. And it is not. I hear a pop there. And it is not. It is not a tail. It is not. I don't know why I keep hearing a pop there. It is not a tail. And it is certainly not without function. In fact, if I were to rank the bones of the body and how important. An upright uh, anchoring point uh, for six really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is a muscular bolting upright uh, through uh, this floor. You can't overestimate the importance of this critical anchoring point uh, for six really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is a muscular bowl that attaches to the brim of the pelvis here and then converges and attaches to the the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is a muscular bowl that attaches to the brim of the pelvis here and then converges and attaches to the coccyx. That's a better name for the tailbone, the coccyx, which really means a cuckoo's beak. It looks sort of like a cuckoo's beak. And that can go. Attaches to the coccyx. That, that's a better name. And uh, that muscular floor, and uh, this can go. That muscular floor, right where my hand is there, that muscular floor holds the organ. That can all go. He's repeating himself. To the coccyx. That muscular floor holds the organs that reside in this lower part uh, of the abdomen and pelvis. Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor, because we stand... We don't need this. Now, if we didn't... Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor, because we stand vertically, uh, the first time we would go <coughs> like that, uh, would be things could sort of just go right down through uh, uh, this area, but that muscular floor holds everything in place. So, an exceedingly important bone structure, not a useless 
uh, leftover that reside in this lower part. He did this to drive home his. He did. He swing through the. I saw the tail too. Well, there are two options to have them. But he lost tailbone made of new. The ancestors had one. Just look at a human's. That's your. And it is pulling on this. It's. So our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. If this muscle were not there, then because we are standing upright. Uh, things would tend to herniate or, or pass uh, through. It was useful at one point to get our floor holes of the abdomen and pelvis. Now, if we didn't have it, let's put that here again. We're bipedal, meaning we walk on two legs, so our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. So our center of gravity. Here we go. Again, we can reiterate what she said. Our center of gravity uh, of the abdomen and pelvis die in this lower part uh, of the abdomen and pelvis. Our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor, because we stand vertically, uh, the first time we would go <coughs> like that, uh, will be thanks to sort of just <laughs> go right down through uh, uh, this area, but that muscular floor holds everything in place. So, an exceedingly important bone structure. Not in our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our head spine. So, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor, over vestigial tail. tail. So we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. Where is Hoban saying that is stupid? That is stupid. But scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient vestigial tail. So we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. That is stupid. Tail. So we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. That is this one can be. Um, this one can be fast color desaturated because it's a repeat clip. So we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. That is stupid. What else we got? Stupid. The appendix was useful at one point, for example, but now it's just kind of chilling. Stupid. The appendix was useful at one point, for example, but now it's just kind of I think this clip here, let me see. Sure, Tom, this point is still valid. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. Tailbone is not vestigial. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again how far they will go to the... All right, this can go here. It's not vestigial. The coccyx... The coccyx, that's vestigial. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human can go for something you don't need anymore. The say boys and girls here, like an evolutionary intestinal time bomb. They tell the kid, stupid. The appendix was useful. That is stupid. They tell the kids, we've got vestigial structure. Now, a vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. Uh Kids, we've got vestigial, vestigial structures. structures. Now, now vestigial, vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. They'll say, boys and girls, you have an appendix that you don't need anymore. 
is stupid. The appendix was useful at one point, for example, but now it's just kind of chilling. Some primates have appendices and use them to digest. It's just kind of chilling. Some... Right there. Girls, you have an appendix that you don't need anymore. That's a vestigial structure. That's a vestigial structure. That's proof of evolution. Well, excuse me, you do need your appendix. It's just kind of chilling. That's a vestigial structure. That's proof of evolution. Appendices and use them to digest tough cellulose, but we really don't need that anymore. So now we don't need it. Over the generations of humans, it's become slowly less pronounced, but it's still present, like an evolutionary intestinal time bomb. But the appendix is part of your vestigial structure. Okay, that is stupid. The appendix is part of your immune structure. That's proof of evolution. Vestigial structures. Now, vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. They'll say, boys and girls, you have an appendix that you don't need anymore. This can go here, this can go here, this can go there. But you don't need anymore. The appendix was used for an intestinal time bomb. That's a vestigial structure, that's proof of evolution. Well, excuse me, you do need your appendix. Time bomb. That's a vestigial structure, that's proof of intestinal, like an evolutionary intestinal time bomb. That's a vestigial that's a vestigial structure. Oh, come on. Structure that's a vestigial structure. That's, 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 that's proof proof of evolution. That's a vestigial structure that that's a vestigial structure that's proof of evolution. Well, excuse me, you do cellulose, but we really don't need that anymore. So now we don't need it. Over the generations of humans, it's become slowly less pronounced. But well, excuse me, you do need your pen structure. That's proof of evolution. So now we, so now we don't need. It. Now we don't need. It. It's a vestigial structure. That's proof of evolution. Over the generations of humans, it's become slow. Don't need. It. It's a vestigial structure. That's proof of evolution. Over the generations of humans, it's become slowly less pronounced, but it's still present. Like an evolutionary intestinal time bomb. Well, excuse me, you do need your appendix, okay? That is we'll do this again. <sighs> the devil kids, we've got structure, something you don't need anymore. The devil kids, we've got vest. The devil kids, we've got vestigial structure. Okay. Look down at your body. Some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. Paste it. Look down at your body. Some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. The devil kids, we've got vest. Out. The devil kids, we've got vestigial structures. Now, a vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. Tails are like. Look down. Don't need this in the beginning. Look down at your body. Some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. The devil kids, we've got vestigial structures. Now, a vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. Tails are like opinions. Basically, everyone has them. Fish, birds, most reptiles, and even some of our close. The devil kids, we've got vest. It's the weight of our heads. That is stupid. Where we will go to the tail to counterbalance. Stupid. The devil kids, we've got vestigial structures. Now, vestigial. This here. You don't need them. Not long ago, a theist. Our heads. That is stupid. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed. Is this my new one or my old one? That looks like my old one. Where are my libraries? Where are my media browser? Where's my.
stuff here. New lo new logo cut. It's a better one. Stupid. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again how points still valid. The devil kids, we've got vestigial structures. Now, a vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. The appendix was you don't need anymore. They'll say, boys and girls, you have an appendix. Right here. Still valid. They'll say, boys and girls, you have an appendix that you don't need anymore. The appendix was useful at one point, for example. This can go. What's this? Prove you don't need them. And yes, it's sad and pathetic and Jesus. You can remember that both your legs and both your arms and both your eyes also. That doesn't prove you don't need them. That's no time bomb. Well, excuse me, you do. And yes, it's sad and pathetic and you can't whack it. So we have tails, and we're covered in fur, and but that doesn't prove you don't need them. And yes, it's sad and pathetic, and you can't whack it. So we have tails, and we're covered in fur at birth, and somehow we didn't evolve from animals? Get that out of town. We have a whole other host of vestigial items, goosebumps, tonsils, wisdom teeth, and other things left over from when we had fur. We have more primitive immune systems, and we used cellulose-based diets. My favorite, though. Our third island. We have a vestigial third island, just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now we put that baby in a corner, genetically speaking. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish we had, Rob? There are a bunch of lists online. If none of these tickle your fancy, or just, you know, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching D-News, everyone, and keep your DNA clean, okay? The tailbone is not vestigial. It's clean, okay? 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 Clean, I said, well, I taught biology and anatomy. I happen to know there are nine little muscles that attach to the tailbone. Okay, so lastly, I don't know if this clip fits here. Empathetic, and you can't whack it. Prove you don't need them. And yes. Don't need them. So we have tails. We need them. So we have tails, and we're covered in fur at birth, and somehow we didn't evolve from animals? Get that out of town. We have a whole other host of vestigial items. I think that's it. So now I'm going to place this. And I'm going to place it over the whole thing. Look down at your body. Some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. The devil kids, we've got vestigial structures. Now, a vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. Tails are like opinions. Basically, everyone has them. Fish, birds, most reptiles, and even some of our closest relatives. So, why are we missing out? Well, right here, the logo can come in. If these specialized limbs are so useful, why don't humans have them? Why don't people, you, me, David Hasselhoff, have tails? Well, there are two answers. First, we don't really need them. I was taught when I went to school, man used to have a tail, but he lost it because he didn't need it. Our ancestors did have tails, and at some point, you had a tail too. Each of us has a coccyx or tailbone made of fused vertebrae. In other primates, this coccyx leads to the tail, but again, we don't really need it. I thought, didn't need it. Have you ever thought how handy a tail would be? We don't need a tail to help us hold on to things while we swing through the trees because, as a species, we don't regularly tarzan our way around the forest anymore. Which is a little unfortunate, if you ask me. Have you ever come to the door with two sacks of groceries? Wouldn't it be a nice man to be able to grab that door and walk right around and get in? Lost it because we didn't need it. Why have a tail if you don't use it? I hear a little pop right there.
Let's try to fix that. Why have a tail? If you don't use it. It's just another thing that takes energy from the rest of the body. Man, you can drive the car and turn the radio knob and hold the coke at the same time. It's a vestigial organ. That is stupid, folks. The tailbone is not vestigial. The coccyx, that's the tailbone. The small bone at the end of the human vertebral column has no present function. And it's thought to be the remainder of bones that once occupied the long tail of a tree-living ancestor. It's an early fossil ape. It lived about 18 to 20 million years ago. And this is just one of the many partial skeletons that we've got of this creature. That is stupid. But scientists are able to complete a picture of these ancient primates. And a tiny bone from the base of the spine reveals a lot about where its spinal cord ends. That is the last sacral vertebra of a proconsul. And I'm going to try to match it up to the one on this chimpanzee. This little... Way right here when the clip changed right here. That's where the monkey needs to come in. And this chimpanzee. This little bone here is this part of a proconsul. Oh, I see. So it's it's a smaller bodied animal than a chimpanzee, but you've got that anatomy there, that ridge indicating to you that we're looking at the last sacral vertebra. You can still see a reminder of a time when our ancient primate ancestors had one. Just look at a human spine. You can see how the last few bones are partially fused together. That's your tailbone. It's all that's left of our tail. It is not a tail. And it is certainly not without function. In fact, if I were to rank the bones of the body and how important they are by how many different muscles attach and how many different directions, I would rank the tailbone up near the top. If you've ever fallen on your tailbone or your coccyx, you know it hurts. Just about any position you're in, it hurts. That's because of all these muscles pulling on this little piece of bony real estate. So, ouch, thank you, anyone. The whole rim of your pelvis, your hip bones, have muscles that converge on that little point of bone. These muscles uh, form what's called the pelvic diaphragm. It's a muscular bowl deep down in our pelvis, and setting above it would be the bladder, the uterus, and uh, other parts of the bowel. We're bipedal, meaning we walk on two legs, so our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. If this muscle were not there, then because we are standing upright, uh, things would tend to herniate or, or pass uh, through uh, this floor. You can't overestimate the importance of this critical anchoring point uh, for six really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is a muscular bowl that attaches to the brim of the pelvis here and then converges and attaches to the coccyx. That muscular floor holds the organs that reside in this lower part. Uh, of the abdomen and pelvis. Our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor, because we stand vertically, uh, the first time we would go <coughs> like that, uh, whoopee, things could sort of just go right down through uh, uh, this area, but that muscular floor holds everything in place. So, an exceedingly important bone structure not a useless, a leftover vestigial tail. So we don't need a tail to counterbalance the weight of our heads. That is stupid. Not long ago, a theistic evolutionist revealed once again how far they will go to defend evolution. During a debate with Discovery Institute's Dr. Stephen Meyer, theistic evolutionist Dr. Carl Gibberson showed a photo of a human infant with a monkey-like tail. He did this to drive home his point that humans share a common descendant from a tailed ancestor. The only thing Dr. Giberson failed to mention was that he found the photo at the website Cracked.com, an online humor website inspired by Mad Magazine. Though he later apologized, he insisted that his point was still valid. They'll say, boys and girls, you have an appendix that you don't need anymore. The appendix was useful at one point, for example, but now it's just kind of chilling. Some primates have appendices and use them to digest tough cellulose, but we really don't need that anymore. So now we don't need it. It's a vestigial structure that's proof of evolution. Over the generations of humans, it's become slowly less pronounced, but it's still present, like an evolutionary intestinal time bomb. Well, excuse me, you do need your appendix, okay? That is stupid. The appendix is part of your immune system. 
if your appendix is taken out, you can still live, okay? But it increases your susceptibility to quite a few diseases. You can live without both your legs and both your arms and both your eyes also. That doesn't prove you don't need them. So we have tails, and we're covered in fur at birth, and somehow we didn't evolve from animals? Get that out now. We have a whole other... I think I want to show the close-up of the monkey pee. The close-up right there. Somehow we didn't evolve from animals? Get that out now. We have a whole other host of vestigial items, goosebumps, tonsils, wisdom teeth, and other things left over from when we had fur. We have more primitive immune systems, and we use cellulose-based diets. My favorite, though, our third eyelid. We have a vestigial third eyelid, just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now we put that baby in the corner, genetically speaking. Is stupid. Tonsils, wisdom, animals. Get that out now. We have a whole other host of vestigial items, goosebumps, tonsils, vestigial items, goosebumps. That is stupid. Stupid tonsils. Wisdom teeth and other things left over from when we had fur. We have more primitive immune systems and we use cellulose-based diets. My favorite though. Stupid. We have more primitive immune systems and we use cellulose-based diets. My favorite though. Our third island. We have stupid. We have a vestigial third eyelid, just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist. Third eyelid. That is. Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. It is stupid. We have more primitive immune systems and we use cellulose based diets. Ready? I got an idea. My favorite though. Our third island. Ready? I got a nice idea. That is stupid. We have a vestigial third island. Just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now we put that baby in the corner, genetically speaking. What is an evolutionary trait that you have? Third eyelid. Just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now we put that baby in the corner, genetically speaking. What is an evolutionary trait that you Stupid. We have a vestigial third eyelid, just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now we put that baby in the corner. Vestigial third. We have a vestigial third eyelid, just like reptiles, guys. It was designed. All right, ready? Ready? Just like. Here we go. Copy this. Reptile. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish we had? There are a bunch. Genetically speaking. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish? Paste this again. Genetically speaking. Just like reptiles, guys. It was designed. Paste it, and then we're going to reverse it. Just like reptiles, guys, it was designed.
right here. It was designed. Paste it. Reptiles, guys, it was designed. Speed 300, reverse. <laughs> Try one hundred actually. Can't get the rewind effect. Speed three hundred. And where am I? Um, Graphics, no, FX, edit, window, sequence, clip, edit, I don't know, I forgot how to do um, text in the new Premiere. Um, graphics library. Ah, what did I do? Editing color effects, editing. All right, whatever. I forgot how to put the titles in the new Premiere. I think you just put text here. Yep. Okay, so how do I make this bigger? this in the center and I'm going to take right here and I'm going to bring this down like here okay and we're going to go speed and make it just 200 put this here it was designed It was designed. It was designed. It was designed. Oh, where's my rewind? What happened to my rewind? What happened to my rewind? Why'd it go away? Why did it go away? Maybe I have to place it here. Oh, I deleted it. I didn't realize I deleted it. It was designed. It was designed. It was designed. It was designed. Let's go ahead and add text again. And right here, put it was designed, designed by evolution. Actually, designed by who? And then We'll spread this big. And how do I get my... This one can go speed 90, maintain audio pitch ripple. This one can go speed 80, maintain ripple. And then... <laughs> This I can copy, paste attributes. Well, guys, it was designed. It was designed. It was designed. It was designed. Copy, paste, speed, seventy. 
speed 60. It was designed, it was designed, it was designed, it was designed, it was designed. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish we had? There are a bunch of lists online if none of these tickle your fancy, or just, you know, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching D-News, everyone, and keep your DNA clean, okay? Hey, the tailbone is not best job. Okay, bend over. Bend over. Force removed. Okay, bend over. I think that's it. The only other thing I want to think is like separating him from saying the same thing. Major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is a big importance here and then converges to partners. So we don't need time we would go. So over of our head. Right? Uh, uh, for six really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is a muscular chance. I would position the rib. These muscles. So are. This critical anchoring point. Bleed uh, fossil ape. Long tail of a tree living ancestor. Vertical column. After a bone. It's about this. Fine. And I'm going to. This. Fine. If I were to. All these muscles. I think it passes work. Uh, really major muscles of the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is a muscular ball that attaches to the brim of the, the, of the abdomen and pelvis. Our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine, so we don't need a tail to feel, meaning we walk on two legs. So our center of gravity passes, center of gravity passes vertically down our spine. This one, she can be, uh, what do you call it? Come on, where are my effects? Effects. Favorites. This can be a flashback. Uh, of the abdomen and pelvis. Our center of gravity passes vertically down our spine. Alright, I think we're done. It's like reptiles, guys. It was designed. <laughs> the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now you put that baby behind to keep. The eyeball moist and to protect it. And now you put that baby in the corner, genetically speaking. Just like reptiles, guys, it was designed. Speaking. Just like reptiles, guys, it was designed. Speaking. Where's my? Come on, my tech times. Why can I never find stuff here? This one can go here. Where is it? Like reptiles, guys. Please speaking. Just like reptiles, guys. Genetically speaking. Just like reptiles, guys. It was designed. <laughs> It was designed, it was designed, it was designed, it was designed, it was designed. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish we had? There are a bunch of lists online if none of these tickle your fancy, or just, you know, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching D-News, everyone. Oh, I forgot to do something here. Items, goosebumps. That is stupid. Tonsils. Here we go. I gotta put all these. Gotta fix all these. See how these play out. Goosebumps. That, we have a whole other host of vestigial items. Goosebumps. That is stupid. Tonsils. That is stupid. Wisdom teeth. That is stupid. And other things left over from when we had fur. That is stupid. That is stupid. Goosebumps. That is stupid. Tonsils. That is stupid. Whoops. That is stupid. Tonsils. Um. That is stupid. Tonsils. That is stupid. Come on. Stupid. Tonsils. Come on.
I'm not a fan of this. That is stupid. That is stupid. Wisdom teeth. Stupid. Wisdom teeth. That is. That is stupid. Stupid. That is stupid. Another thing left over from when we had fur. That is stupid. My favorite thing. Stupid. My favorite thing. Our third island. That is stupid. We tiles, guys. It was designed. It was designed. It was designed. Stupid. The appendix is part of your meal. This point is still valid. Just a boys and girls. Um, here, let's go ahead with the fast color corrector again. Saturation. What? I guess I already had it on. There we go. Copy that. Paste it, paste it. Paste it, paste it. We didn't evolve from animals. Get that out of there. We have a whole other host of. That is stupid. Copy. Insert. Stupid. Get that out of there. That is stupid. We have a whole other... Whoops. Come on now. Wrong way. That is stupid. We have a whole other host. It is stupid. We have a whole other host. And somehow we didn't evolve from animals. Get that out of there. That is stupid. We have a whole other host of vestigial items. Goosebumps. That is stupid. Tonsils. That is stupid. Wisdom teeth. That is stupid. And other things left over from when we had fur. That is stupid. And other things left And other things left over. That is stupid. Wisdom teeth. That is stupid. And other things left over from when we had fur. That is stupid. My favorite thing. Our third island. That is stupid. We have a vestigial third island. Just like reptiles, guys. It was designed to keep the eyeball moist. It's designed. Right here. Cut this out. Cut this out. Whoops, what do we just do? Bring this back. Island. Just like reptiles, guys. Island. Just like reptile third island. Just like reptiles, guys. It was designed. 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 Designed to keep the eyeball moist and to protect it. And now we put that baby in the corner, genetically speaking. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish we had dropped? There are a bunch of lists online of none of these. My that is stupid. There we go. Copy. Genetically speaking. That is stupid. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish Speaking. That is stupid. What is an evolutionary trait that you wish we had dropped? There are a bunch of lists online if none of these tickle your fancy, or just, you know, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching D News, everyone, and keep your DNA clean, okay? Hey, the tailbone is not vestigial. One guy told me, he said, up in Berkeley, he said, I think the tailbone is vestigial. We don't rarely Tarzan our way around. Look down at your body, some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. This. Can cut here. And this can cut right here. Look down at your body. Some of that stuff doesn't do anything, and I'm about to call it out. The devil kids, we've got vestigial structure. The devil kids. 
The Delta Kids, we've got vestigial structures. Now, a vestigial structure is something you don't need anymore. Tales are like opinions. Basically, everyone has them. Fish, birds, most reptiles, and even some of our closest relatives. So, why are we in fact in our way around the forest anymore? Which is a little unfortunate. Sometimes we didn't need it. Why have a tail if you don't use it? Not vestigial. Owns it once occupied the long tail between. I think this guy over here. Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor. That is stupid. To counterbalance the weight of our heads. Now, if we didn't have that muscular floor, because we stand vertically, uh, the first time we would go like that. Or to rank the bones of the body and how important to rank the tail. Just about form uter. So then, because we herniate or I see. So I think it's close enough. Anyway, that's all I want to work on this. This can go to the beginning. This can go to the end. And that's it. We're going to be done here. So I'm going to export this out. Wow, that was a lot more than I thought it was going to be to edit. All right. So there you have it. I'm going to export it at rate 30, which is fine. And that's it. Just go ahead and export. And how long did that take? Two hours. Goodbye.